from second graders. Today we're going to be reading a book called Amazon Fever. So I'm just going to read you this little section on the left side that tells you what the book is about. When Jeff accompanies his uncle to the Amazon rainforest to acquire butterflies, Jeff hopes to see real jaguars as well. Okay, so before I start reading the book, I want to make sure you have gone to Seesaw and that you have already done the activity called Amazon Fever KWL chart, okay? So you're going to do the first part of the activity. You're going to fill out the K and the W. So I want you to tell me, what do you know about the Amazon rainforest already? What kind of animals are there? Maybe what kind of plants are there? What do you know about the Amazon rainforest? The W is going to be things that you wonder. What do you wonder about? What questions do you have about the Amazon rainforest? So make sure you go and do that if you haven't yet. Um, if you have not done that, you can press the pause button and then you can come back to this. But if you're here and you're ready, then we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so just before we start, I know just from reading this little part, this little excerpt, that our main um, character is named Jeff. And it looks like he's like a young boy. We have six chapters. I'll be reading the first two chapters today. So this chapter is called El Tigre. The Jaguars, oh, sorry, let me put this in full screen mode. The Jaguar's yellow eyes gleamed through the dark jungle leaves. His lips pulled up in a snarl. Hmm, I wonder what a snarl is. That's so something that his lips are doing. It must be when animals are smiling or kind of like, like in a sneaky way, a snarl. His sharp teeth flashed in the dim light. The 300-pound cat crouched on a branch. He was about to leap. Hmm, I'm going to go back and look at this word crouched and see if I can figure out what that means. The cat crouched on a branch. He was about to leap. Oh, because sometimes cats do that. They get really low when be, right before they're about to jump. Maybe you've seen that on like a National Geographic TV channel or something. I'm also going to show you a little trick I can use. If you're reading on Epic, you can click on the word and it will tell you how you can say it and also what it means. Whoops. Did not work for me just then. There we go. Okay, so did you hear him say it? You can play it as many times as you need to. Okay, and it says to stoop or bend low with the arms and legs close to the body. So I was right. It's kind of when like a cat gets down really low before they jump. So friends, you can use that tool while you're reading. I love looking at the jaguar at the Y Museum. Uncle Roy calls him El Tigre. That's Spanish for jaguar. Too bad El Tigre is stuffed and stuck in a display case. Oh, so this whole time I was thinking that was a real jaguar he was looking at. It's not, it is real. It might have real fur, but it's not alive. It's, it's in a display case. I'd like to see a jaguar for real, right up close, I told Uncle Roy. Uncle Roy didn't answer. He was bringing palm trees and other tropical plants into the new greenhouse. Uncle Roy runs this museum. Oh, okay, so his uncle is like managing or owning the museum. It was his idea to add a greenhouse to the Amazon rainforest exhibit. That way, he said, visitors can feel what it's like to walk in the jungle. It's a cool idea. Still, I don't think it will be as great as the jungle cat part. After all, the greenhouse will only have flowers and bugs and stuff. Why can't we get a live jaguar? I asked Uncle Roy. He looked at me from behind a potted fern. Jeff, this is a natural history museum, he said, not a zoo. But we're going to have live butterflies, I argued. He gave me another look. Okay, okay. I guess there's not much danger a butterfly will eat a visitor, I admitted. Uncle Roy, Roy smiled. That's the good thing about butterflies. I stared at the old butterfly display case. It had been in the museum for the last century or so. The case went from floor to ceiling. Behind the glass, hundreds of butterflies were pinned in rows. So when I look at the picture, I can get a little picture of that in my mind also, like being in a museum and having um, 
a case that goes from the floor to the ceiling and it's like full of something. So this one's full of, of different kinds of butterflies and maybe you can use your imagination by looking at the pictures and seeing all the different colors. All right, I'm gonna keep reading. They're pretty, I said. Pretty boring, that is. Ha, <laughs> I laughed at my own joke. Uncle Roy didn't. Well, then you'd better not come to Brazil with me next week, he said. Not come, I cried. Are you kidding? I had already been to the Sahara Desert with him, looking for dinosaur fossils. Now he was planning a trip to the Amazon rainforest. Jeff, the whole point of the trip is to get butterflies, Uncle Roy warned. If you want to chase butterflies, that's fine, I told him. I'll be on the trail of the wild jaguar. Uncle Roy, Roy smiled and shook his head. Maybe he didn't believe I'd find a jaguar, but I was going to try. All right, so before we start chapter two, let's do a little quick review of our, our characters and our important events in here. So I know, I remember that the main character's name is Jeff. He's um, a young boy, and right now he's in a museum, the Y Museum, and his uncle Roy owns that museum or runs that museum, okay? So, and it seems like Uncle Roy needs to, is going to collect some butterflies for his museum, and so they're going to go to Brazil together. They're gonna to go to the Amazon rainforest. That would be a really good fact if you want to add it to your KWL chart. I can see on this page that um, he's going to Brazil, but he's also going to the Amazon rainforest. So now I know that the Amazon rainforest is in the country of Brazil. That's where the Amazon rainforest is. So this, do you want to add this to your KWL chart? That, that would be a great one to add. Um, and the last important thing I'd say is that Jeff thinks he might find a jaguar, but Uncle Roy keeps trying to remind him that, no, we're just going to look for butterflies. So that is a review, a quick little review of chapter one. Chapter two, down on the farm. Three days later, Uncle Roy and I landed in Manaus. Hmm, I wonder what Manaus is. I might keep reading and see if I can figure that out. A blast of muggy heat hit me as I stepped off the plane. Is it always this hot, I asked. This hot and hotter, said Uncle Roy. Manaus is in Brazil's Amazon rainforest. Oh, a city smack in the middle of the jungle seemed weird to me, but Uncle Roy said it's an important port. Okay, so now I know that Manaus is a city in the Amazon rainforest. It's a city in Brazil. There's one other word here that I'm not sure of. Uncle Roy said it's an important port. Here's another one where I'm going to keep reading and see if I can use my context clues to figure that out. From here, stuff like rubber and lumber is shipped down the Amazon River to the bigger cities on the coast. Okay, so maybe port just means like place. It's an important place because these things like rubber and trees are shipped from there. It leaves from there. Oh, so maybe stuff comes and goes from a port. I remember my trick. I can also click on here. Um, and it says, okay, yeah, a place where ships may take shelter from storms, a harbor town or city where ships load and unload cargo. Okay, yeah. So I was right. It's like a place where ships can come and go from. All right, we'll keep reading. You can read along with me. Uncle Roy rented a Jeep and we drove north. In lots of places, the forest had been cleared away for houses and farms, but in some spots, the trees crowded right up to the road. I peered into the deep, dark jungle. I couldn't wait to get in there. Here we are, cried Uncle Roy. The Jeep bumped down a muddy driveway. A small house and some low buildings stood in a clearing. Uh, Uncle Roy? This isn't the jungle, I pointed out. It's a farm. Right, declared Uncle Roy. A butterfly farm. A butterfly farm, I cried. I thought we were hunting butterflies in the jungle. Patience, Jeff. The scientists at the farm collect different types of butterflies in the jungle. From the few they take, they'll raise hundreds, he said. We'll order all the pupa we need from the farm. Do you guys remember this word? 
This sounds familiar. I'm going to play it and make sure I'm saying it right. Pupa. Okay, so this is the, a stage of an insect um, when they're still in like their cocoon or their case. Okay, I think um, let's, let's read on and see if we figure out, if we um, learn a little bit more about that. We'll order all the pupa we need from the farm. Okay, so that makes me think that maybe they'll just take the little um, chrysalis and cocoons back and not like live butterflies. And then maybe they'll raise them at their museum. I'll keep going on this page. So we're going to spend the whole day looking at little bug eggs. I was already hot and miserable. Now I was going to be bored too. Not eggs, pupa, corrected Uncle Roy. First, a caterpillar hatches out of an egg. In a few weeks, the caterpillar attaches itself to a twig and forms a hard shell around itself. That's the pupa. I know, I know, I said. And after a few more weeks, the adult butterfly comes out of the pupa. I was kidding about the bug eggs. We learn about metamorphosis at school this year. So this is a big word. If you need it repeated, remember you can play it on the, our little epic tool. It just means when something changes, metamorphosis. A fascinating process, Uncle Roy declared. He and one of the butterfly farmers began going over a list. Under my breath, I grumbled. At this rate, I'll never find a drag wire. Uncle Roy peered up at me from his lift, from his list. Butterflies, Jeff, we're here for butterflies. So in a quick review of chapter two, it seems like Jeff is pretty disappointed that they're not in the jungle. Um, well, first, we know they've landed in Manaus, a city in Brazil near the Amazon rainforest or in the Amazon rainforest. And Jeff is disappointed because he's not in the jungle. They're at a butterfly farm and they're going to be taking the butterfly um, pupa back to the museum so that they can hatch them at the museum. All right. I will see you for our next read aloud, friends.